Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be looking at the top six bikes that I'm looking at for my big bike. And this video idea was brought to you by Ragnar147. So thank you very much for that video idea. If you have any other video ideas, let me know in the comments and I will feature your comment in the video that I do it on. So as you know from one of my recent videos, I'm looking at getting rid of the Benelli TNT 125 and replacing it with a bigger bike once I do my full license. Now I've split these six bikes into two categories, three that are gonna be cheap and the other three that I'm gonna be able to do either on finance or if I manage to get a good job once this whole COVID-19 is over. But first off, we're gonna be starting off in the cheaper category of the free bikes I've been looking at. So at number one is the Yamaha R6. This is a bike that I've always loved, especially in that lightning blue. It does look absolutely amazing and you can pick them up fairly cheap right now. Anything from £2,000 upwards for a decent R6. And I'm talking around about an 06 model and an 08 model. And the good thing about the R6 is that there are plenty of them about. You know, you've got a lot of Yamaha R6s out there and it shouldn't be too much of a problem to find a fairly decent R6. I personally haven't had any experience around the R6, so the reliability of it could be absolutely shocking. Um, I've not really heard any horror stories from it myself, and I've not heard of anybody saying any bad things about the R6, but maybe there are some things out there that I need to know. And if you know anything about the R6, let me know in the comments. So number two is the Suzuki FZR600. And this is a fairly popular bike, I believe. And, you know, it's quite a decent looking bike as well. You can have it as a street naked bike as well as a sports bike. And from what I can tell by it, it seems a good all-round bike. And they seem to go on forever. I've seen some FZRs with over 30,000 miles on the clock and still going. So they can't be that bad. And in reliability terms, that is so important for me. Especially everything that's been going on with the TNT. <laughs> Price range, you can get them for under a thousand pounds, but I probably would pay between one to two thousand pounds. Depending on what I was looking at and if it was of decent quality, then I'd be happy to pay anything up to two thousand pounds for it. Number three, and this is something that I didn't think I'd be interested in, but it's grown on me over time, and that is the CBR 600 RR. Now I have been looking very closely at sports bikes and that's because I just like the luck of them. I always wanted to own one. Uh, the last sports, well, sports bike that I went on was a YZF125. Okay, so on to the more higher price range motorcycles. And we're going to start off with the MT-07. Yes, you probably guessed it. It is just one of those bikes where it's a good all-round bike. It's got fantastic torque. It's got fantastic power. And it's reliable as hell. And also, there are so many out there that it is... A little bit lower on the price range of things and I have personally ridden one of them and it was just an amazing bike I'm not gonna lie I absolutely loved it crazy power just felt absolutely amazing but the only thing I really don't like about them and this is just my own personal pet peeve about them is that the fact that they are everywhere you know they're absolutely everywhere I mean obviously that's not a bad thing because it just shows how well made they are and how good they are and obviously if if they weren't that popular then they wouldn't be worth buying now at number two is the Honda CRF 400 and this is a dirt bike or supermoto or off-road bike or whatever you want to call it and the reasoning behind all this is because yes i do like to go and explore quite a bit and yes i live in north wales and there is a lot of places that you can go that are off the beaten track so that is my reasoning behind that they are fairly expensive for what they are though these bikes can go anything from 4,000 upwards. And personally, I don't think you're getting quite a lot for what it is. 
that's just my opinion but at the same time I know what I'd be getting and that is reliability and also a hell of a lot of fun as well. <laughs> now my last one is the Triumph Daytona 675. Not the newer one, not the 765, but the 675. Now the reasoning behind that is because it's a bike that I've always loved. Now these bikes start off around about £3,000 and they go anything up from that, but if you're getting one at £3,000, then you're probably likely gonna get a bit of a crappy bike. Now, as far as I know, Triumph isn't famous for its reliability. So obviously that's an issue, but it's just an amazing bike. It's always been one of my dream bikes to own. So that is why it's on my list. But if you know anything more about the Triumph Daytona that I don't, and if you've ridden on one, or if you've ridden on any of these bikes, and you perhaps have a difference of opinion let me know in the comments below because it would really help me out it'd give me a better idea where i need to go or if you think that maybe a different sort of bike would suit me better maybe you can change my mind and maybe there is something out there that's much better for what i need now i'm going to throw a couple of other ones out there and that was the suzuki bandit much more cheaper than any of those bikes and you can still pick a decent one up so that would be obviously if all of those weren't possible and i weren't able to get them then i would happily have a suzuki bandit i know plenty of people who have had suzuki bandits and they've always been great reliable bikes so that's another one and also there is the suzuki drz now that's also another crazy little bike that i've always wanted as well but reliability wise as my friend blake was telling me isn't the very best but they are all the bikes that i've been looking at if you have any more ideas of what i should be looking at or if maybe i should be looking at these specific bikes that i've been looking at let me know in the comments i would greatly appreciate that anyway thank you so so much for watching and also thank you to ragnar for asking this question i really do appreciate all the questions that you ask in the comments below so keep asking and i will see you again very soon bye